Do you have a YouTube channel? Is it popular? If you answered yes and no, well, I have the perfect service for you to look into. My channel. Now, since this is the first episode of the series, I don't really have any applicants, so what I did was I just picked a couple of my friends to show off today. Now, if you want to get featured on this series, you just gotta click the link in the description. It will bring you to a sign-up form that's really easy to fill out. You just gotta enter a link to your channel, tell me the main topics of what you upload, and if you want, you can add a video for me to highlight. After that, I'll contact the provided email as soon as possible, and I'll eventually dedicate a segment to you. With all that out of the way, it's time we actually get into today's highlight reel. We're featuring three channels today, one from the gaming, animation, and reaction categories. Let's get into it. Alright everybody, the first channel of today's preview is Mobile, a very talented Mima.io player who, get this, does it all on mobile. Get it? Mobile? Mobile? <laughs> uh, I have no life. As far as editing goes, it's only some of the cleanest I've seen on YouTube, and this channel definitely deserves more traction. Okay, so Aiden is our first creator to have multiple channels, those being Aiden and... Bruh, how do you want me to say that? His channel features mainly Roblox clips and a pretty sweet animation. Last but certainly not least, Luke's channel features mainly reaction-based content, mostly revolving around Smash Ultimate. There you can also find some of his clips and a couple of memes that are, well, actually funny. Okay, so there's a big discussion around Joy-Con drift. It's a really big problem that's been plaguing a lot of Switch users. It's when the stick apparently moves in a direction you don't want it to move. And really, I haven't encountered it myself. People are filing lawsuits left and right, and really, it's all unprovoked. There's no reason why anyone should be complaining. Okay, I know that seemed pretty short, but that really is all I'm going to be doing for each segment. However, when I contact you via email, I'd always be glad to do an interview through either a video call or just through messages. By the way, for any of you longtime R9 fans or soon to be R9 fans, I recommend checking out my website where you can get early access to my videos completely free.